We're going to look at crisscross. So hopefully you'll remember your chest lift. If you don't, just head back and see if you can do that movement first. But we're going to start with a bit of prep. So you're going to let your hands come onto the front of your knees. And I want you to feel like you're pulling your knees towards your chest. And at the same time, you're pulling your elbows towards the side of the room. So you shouldn't feel like you're really rounded up here. Try and make that come from the back of your body. And if you keep this tension into your arms so your elbows will never straighten, as you sigh out, press your feet to the floor and that will trigger you to come up into this lovely dish shape. So you should be able to stay here a relative amount, okay? And your tummy should be dropping towards the floor without you feeling like you're pushing your spine into the floor. And then you're just gonna come back down again. Now, if you felt that on your neck, you're gonna grab a pillow so that you're starting from a little bit more neck flexion. And again, as you sigh out, you're just gonna send your feet towards the floor, allow your gaze to rest towards your pubic bone, and we're gonna come into this dish. Now, from here, if you took your right hand off and just extend your left leg, Pull into the other thigh so your foot comes towards you, your knee comes towards you. This is the leg position for crisscross. We're going to change and bring it to the other side. So again, reconnect with your knee. You're going to pull into one side, let the other leg go away. Here's your crisscross legs. And then you're going to bring yourself back in again and then just lay yourself back down. So that's the leg component. So with the arms, we're just gonna revisit chest lift. You're gonna interlace your fingers and you're gonna run your thumbs down the back of your neck. So when you're looking up towards the ceiling, you should allow, or you should be able to see your elbows in the sides of your uh, view. And all you're going to do is just start to slightly pick your head off the floor with your arms. So by now you should be looking slightly above your knees. As you sigh, you're going to come up into your chest lift and rotate your uh, ribcage around your spine. And then you're going to come back down again. And you're going to go to the opposite direction. So sigh out, come up through the centre, rotate. Your opposite hip stays to the floor. So there's the upper body part. So we're going to put this together. So if you come up into tabletop to start, again, hands supporting your head, and you're just gonna gently pick up the back of your head so your head can rest in your hands and it feels relatively effortless. As you sigh out, you're going to come up into your chest lift and rotate your right ribs to your left hip. Really try and keep your right hip on the floor, and then you're gonna come back down again. We're gonna do the opposite side, so we're gonna alternate. So as we sigh, we rotate to the left, so it's left rib cage to right hip, and then bring yourself all the way back down again. So we know where the legs go. We're gonna start slowly so we can really load your abdominals and get that lovely activation. So keep that head rested in your hands and as you sigh, you're gonna rotate right rib to left hip, extend the right leg, left leg comes closer. Stay up as you rotate all the way around to the other side. Now we're trying to keep your hips Still and heavy into the mat. So we're not leaning from side to side, but we're rotating your rib cage around your spine. The legs are extending, and the lower you go, the more lower abdominal strength you have to have. So if you start to feel this in your back, then you extend the legs higher. Use your out breath to rotate. And then we're gonna come back to the center, pause and lay yourself back down again. This time we're gonna speed it up a little bit. So it's one thing to load your abdominals whilst you're kind of trying to get a bit more control, but we obviously want the abdominals to be able to spring as well. Okay, so it makes it a little bit more functional for everyday life. So again, allow those feet to come back up into tabletop and let your hands just pick up your head. And we're gonna increase the speed here. So as you sigh out, we're gonna rotate and we're gonna go again. So you're gonna go for three, and two, last one, and pause, to then allow yourself to come back down again. So you're really looking to increase that speed, and you want to do a little bit of both. So you want to allow yourself to go quite slowly to really load your abdominals, 
and then also a little bit quicker to allow for that spring. But every time, try and come up through the center and go up to rotate around. 